It's time for spelling analysis. Are you ready? Today we're going to have two words that have an assimilated sound. What does assimilated mean again? That's right. It means the sounds become more similar to each other. Because they're hard to say next to each other, they become more alike the other sound, and then they change almost into a new sound. So the first word is sugar. Would you like some sugar on your cereal? Sugar. Go ahead and say sugar. How many syllables in sugar? Hmm? Hmm. Now, we, all, we will say to spell sugar. Go ahead and say that with me. Sugar. Yes, that sounds really strange. But let's sound it out and then we'll experience how it assimilates. The first syllable is siu. S-u. The second syllable is gar. G. R. Go ahead and write siu gar. And then sound it out as you write it. Yeah, it's really weird, isn't it? Now help me to write it. The first syllable is siu. S-u. The second syllable is gar. G. R. And how will we mark it? We'll put a line over the u. And why did it say it's long sound? A, E, O, U usually say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. And we'll underline the R. Now, try this with me. Let's first read it. S-U-G-R, S-U-G-R. Now, let's try to say it faster and faster and see what happens. S-U-G-R, 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 S-U-G-R. Oh my, it turned into sugar. This assimilates into sh. And if you feel the s, it's very forward, and U is further back, siu, siu, shu, shu. You'll feel how your mouth wants to make them to be in the same place when you say it fast. So this becomes sugar. All right, the next word is perfect. Sugar is a perfect example of assimilation. Go ahead and say perfect. How many syllables in perfect? Hmm, hmm, two. We will say to spell perfect. What will we say to spell? Perfect. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is per, p, er, the er of her. The second syllable is fect, e, k, use a k, s, t. Go ahead and write perfect. Sounding it out as you write it. Excellent. And help me to write it. The first syllable is per, p, er. The second syllable is fect, ek, t. And how do you mark it? You underline the er. Let's read it. P, er, ek, t. Perfect. Excellent. The next word is sure. Are you sure that's a good idea? Sure. Go ahead and say sure. Do you hear that sh sound again? It's again an assimilated siu. So it's sewer. Go ahead and say to spell sewer. Let's sound it out. S U er silent final e. Go ahead and write sewer. Again, I know it sounds so funny, doesn't it? And help me to write it. S U er silent final e. And how will we mark it? We'll put a line over the U and underline the silent E. And why did it say it's a long U sound? That's right, the vowel says it's a long sound because of the E. Now, if we say sewer, sewer, sewer really fast, do you see what happened? It turned into sewer. Again, that S, U are trying to become more similar in how they're said in your mouth, and it turns into sure. Excellent. All right, the next word is among. The game pieces are all mixed in among the other games. Among. Go ahead and say among. How many syllables in among? Hmm? Hmm. Two. We will say to spell a mong. What will we say to spell? A mong. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is a. A. The second syllable is mong. M a ng. Go ahead and write a mong. Excellent. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is A. The second syllable is Mong. M, A, N. And how will we mark it? Put a line over the A 
And why did it say it's long sound? A, E, O, U usually say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. And we'll underline the ng. Mm. Now, among, ung, um, you hear the uh sound? Remember, O may say uh next to a W, T, H, M, N, or V. Here it is next to an M. So let's read it. A, M, A, N, among. And here this is saying it's lazy vowel in an unstressed syllable, uh. The next word is swallowed. He swallowed hard, swallowed. Go ahead and say swallowed. How many syllables in swallowed? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell swall load. What will we say to spell? Swall load. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is swall. S wa a. Use an a a a. L. The second syllable is load. L o. Use an ow o. D. That's right. It's an edit. Go ahead and write swall load. Swall load. Good. And help me to write it. The first syllable is swall. S w a u. The second syllable is load. O o d. How do we mark it? What sound of a a a do you hear in swallowed? You're right. It's the broad sound. And there it is. It's a vowel saying it's broad sound after a W and before an L. So there's two reasons in this word that it's saying A. Ah. Well, underline the O. What sound of ow O do you hear in swallowed? The second. And we'll underline the D. What sound of ed D T do you hear? The second. Excellent. Let's read it. S-w-a-l-l-o-d. Swallowed. That is great work. This is such an interesting word, isn't it? The next word is worm. The worm uh, was crawling through the dirt. Or do worms crawl? There was a worm in the dirt. Let's do that. Worm. Go ahead and say worm. And let's sound it out. Worm. Wur. M. Mm. Oh yeah, that's that wur phonogram. Wur. M. Mm. Go ahead and write worm. Good, and help me to write it. Wur, m. Mm. And how do we mark it? We'll underline the wur. Let's read it. Wur, m. Mm. Worm. The next word is cheese. Would you like some cheese on your sandwich? Cheese. Go ahead and say cheese. And let's sound it out. Ch, e. Use an e double e. Z. Use a s. z. z. Silent final e. Go ahead and write cheese. Good. And help me to write it. Ch, e, z, silent final e. How will we mark it? Well, underline the ch and the e. And what sound of z, z do you hear in cheese? That's right, the second. Oh, and why do we have a silent e in cheese? You're right, it's to keep it from ending in s because we don't want it to look like it's a plural word. Let's read it. Ch, e, z, cheese. Great! That's such an interesting word, isn't it? The last word is poisonous. The snake is poisonous. Go ahead and say poisonous. How many syllables in poisonous? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three. We will say to spell poison us. What will we say to spell? Poison us. All right, let's sound it out. The first syllable is poi. P oi way that you may not use at the end of English words. The second syllable is on. Z, use a s, z, a, n. The third syllable is us. A, uh, use an ow, o, u, a, u, s. Go ahead and write poi, zon, us. You've got it. Sound it out. Poi, zon, us. And help me to write it. The first syllable is poi. Oi. The second syllable is zon. Z a n. The third syllable is us. A s. And how will we mark it? Well, underline the oi. And what sound of s z do we hear in poisonous? The z sound. And we'll underline the us. What sound of of the? We'll underline the uh. What sound of ow o u u u? I think it's that fourth one. Uh. 
Yep, us. Poison us. Let's read it. Poison us. Poisonous. By the way, what do we have if we take the suffix us off? We have the word poison. And do you know what? This suffix us means full of. So something that's poisonous is full of poison. Look at that. Great work today. These are some really fascinating words. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at foundations.logicofenglish.com.